A couple of months ago, I made a video where I got people to assign colors to each of the 12 months of the year, and then I analyzed that data in various ways. That video did particularly well, so I decided to do the same thing with four different topics. This video is part two of that four-part series, where I'll be covering the data for the days of the week. Ah, days of the week, how remarkably unremarkable you are. Out of the four topics that I pulled for, this was the one that I was the least sure about doing. I almost made this a three-part series, leaving this topic out. Now, after having done it, I think that, yeah, it would have been fine if I left it out. The results were just boring, for reasons you're about to find out. Out of the four topics I pulled for, this was the second most submitted to at an average of 1,601 responses for each day of the week, which is only about 150 submissions under the average for school subjects, which had an average of 1,746. There was significantly less variance than the school subjects, however, as the lowest submitted to day of the week had 1,590 submissions, which was Saturday, while the most submitted to day of the week had 1,611 submissions, which was Friday. That's only 21 submissions between the most submitted to day of the week and the least, I don't have any more superlatives for the days of the week. It's pretty obvious that we're just pulling the 7 days of the week, so let's get on with the data. The winning color for Monday was... Hold on! No, 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 no. I've decided that we're not doing this the normal way, where we go through each option one by one, reveal the top color, and then reveal the central reasons. This is because for the days of the week, it would be really dull to do so. Why? It just so happens that every single color for each day of the week had the exact same reasoning that propelled it to the top. That doesn't mean they were all the same color, far from it, it just so happened that they all had the exact same reason. And that reason was, you guys made a rainbow! Almost. Frickin' Sunday being yellow. Oh, Sunday, the day of sun that you are. 170 people ended up citing rainbow in their reasoning for assigning the colors to the days of the week, which, as you can see, was the domineering force that decided 6 out of 7 of the colors. Even though only 170 people cited rainbow as the reasoning, there were actually quite a lot more who did use rainbows and did not cite any reason. I'm still going to show you the results and talk about some of the other correlations, but we're going to go through this section a lot faster since it's pretty dull, honestly. Just know that, in all of the other correlations that I talk about here, none of it comes anywhere close to the domination of the rainbow. Except for Sunday. Out of these 7 days of the week, Monday had the most clear winner by quite a bit. We already know a significant portion of these red voters were the rainbow submissions, but another significant portion of red submissions came from people associating red with being the start of the week, just like how it's the start of the rainbow. Except a lot of these people didn't submit rainbow colors for the rest of the days of the week. It was just red for Monday, because of it specifically being the start. Some people mentioned that their color choice for Monday was also based on hating it, or associating it with evil entities such as the devil, which also led to red a lot, but also a bit of dark red and black. Orange ended up being the third most chosen color, because of some people associating it with a certain Monday-hating cat. Tuesday was significantly less agreed upon than Monday was, although was still pretty clearly orange thanks to the dominance of the rainbow voters. The only other thing I found for Tuesday was that there was a very select few people who associated Tuesday with Taco Tuesday, leading to orange, yellow, or yellow-orange for the color of the taco shells. Wednesday now. Um, yeah, wow, yellow on top, who'd've guessed? Super enlightening stuff, I'm sure. For Wednesday, I found basically nothing. I'm sorry, I tried. It was literally just rainbows and vibes, that's basically it. There were people who mentioned it being the middle of the week, but no correlation between what colors were chosen. All I could find for other associations were three people who associated it with the color of camels because of Wednesday being called Hump Day, and two people associating it with the character Wednesday Adams. On to Thursday. Green for Thursday was the lowest voted winning option so far because the rainbow voters were split between choosing that and dark green, which was second. Also tied for second was orange, which I actually did find a reason for. Well, not an overwhelming reason, but some people chose orange because they found Tuesday and Thursday to be twins, because they have similar names. So, they thought of them as the same color, and since Tuesday was most voted to be orange, that carried over to Thursday as well. Friday was our least agreed upon subject overall, primarily because people diverged between submitting blue, sky blue, or cyan as the next color in the rainbow. In the end, blue did win out, but not by very much. I found two common associations with Friday that people made that were not just rainbow. The first one, and the more common one, was that Friday was a very freeing or otherwise happy day being the last day of the week. This didn't lead to any one specific color though, whatever color people saw as freeing was completely undecided. Some people see Friday as happy in a calm way as it led into a break. Others see it as very exciting as it gets them pumped for the weekend. The second and much less common one was that Friday was associated with fries as it's in the name, Fry Day. This always led to either a shade of orange or yellow to be selected, most commonly yellow-orange. 
Next up is Saturday, which, similarly to Friday, has a pretty low winning percentage on purple, although at least a little bit higher. The indecision of the rainbow voters carries onwards here. Some of those who selected cyan for Friday instead selected blue for Saturday, and some who selected blue for Friday instead selected violet for Saturday instead of purple. Similarly to Friday, Saturday had a lot of people finding it freeing, with a bit heavier emphasis on the excitement aspect of the weekend than the break aspect of the weekend, but again, this still didn't leave any consensus on any of the colors. Sunday is the one color that did not get its most chosen color from rainbow submissions, as it breaks the streak, winning with yellow. The pinks and purples were still fairly high as well though, as for many people the rainbow was still prevalent. However, for the first time, the non-rainbow voters actually had a consensus and a reason for a day of the week being a certain color. As stated previously, Sunday was chosen as yellow for the association of it being Sunday, Day of the Sun. Ah ha 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 Admittedly, I'm not sure why this prevailed so dominantly over any other reason for any other day, but it is interesting to see it break the stagnancy of the rainbow. On this chart, we see spikes for two of the yellows, and then purples, pinks, and red, symbolizing our rainbow voters. There's one more color that was highly selected though, and that was white, which I actually could find a reason for. A decent number of people associated Sunday with being the day you go to church, which most often led to white being selected, as a number of people viewed it as the purest color. If we wanted every day to have a unique color, Sunday and Wednesday are both yellow, Sunday had less yellow submissions, its second place submission is pink, yada yada yada, this is really obvious, I'm only saying it here because I know, if I didn't, everyone would comment, why did you skip the uniqueness segment? Well, there you go. Also, here's the stacked bar chart before we move on to the actually interesting segments of this video. Now, let's look at the averages. Here's the HSV averages. I'm not going to talk about them, but I'm showing you them anyways. The RGB averages are the ones that I want to talk about. Monday is clearly the most saturated out of all of them, again, being the day that was the most agreed upon, but the other days are a little bit odd. Why is Friday purple when it was most agreed to be blue, and why is Sunday red when it was most agreed to be yellow? Well, Sunday can be pretty easily explained, as the yellow Sunday voters and the pink slash purple rainbow voters just kind of averaged out in the reds. Friday being purple instead of blue is a little bit more complicated to explain, but the explanation for that is also why every single other day is a little bit shifted down the rainbow in hue. A number of people who selected rainbow colors for each of the days of the week had them offset by one because commonly, Sunday is considered the start of the week rather than Monday. This is why orange was third place for Monday, yellow was second place for Tuesday, and green was second place for Wednesday. Obviously, this group wasn't as large as the ones who considered Monday the start of the week, but it still affected the averages by pushing everything just a little bit down the rainbow. That does then beg the question, could these results have been influenced by the order of the days of the week I put on the forum? On the forum for this subject, I started with Monday and went in order ending at Sunday. I have a sneaking suspicion that a number of the rainbow voters didn't even necessarily vote based on the days of the week, but just went in rainbow order based on the start of the forum, which was Monday, and that if I had started on Sunday, then these results would look pretty different. I know this isn't the case for all rainbow voters, as a number of them did specifically state that the rainbow for them starts on Monday, likewise to how a number of people stated that the rainbow starts on Sunday, but I still think it could have been interesting to find out. Ah well. Anyways, these rainbow submissions are interesting for a number of other reasons that have absolutely nothing to do with assigning them to the days of the week. The results for each day of the week showed that earlier days of the week had more of a consensus on what colors were selected, while the later days of the week, particularly Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, had less of a consensus. The reason behind this is that the rainbow submissions themselves did not have a consensus on what the last three colors of the rainbow should be. Pretty much every rainbow submission agreed that red, orange, yellow, and green were the first four, but the colors for the final three tended to change. There were two different versions that really stuck out in the dataset. Most commonly, the colors for the last three were blue for Friday, purple for Saturday, and pink for Sunday, which was submitted by 48 different people. However, just behind that were people who submitted cyan for Friday, blue for Saturday, and purple for Sunday, which was a total of 42 people. This is actually the first data set in which a number of people submitted the exact same 7 colors for every single day. So what I have done is gathered every single instance that 2 or more submissions submitted the exact same set of colors for the days of the week and graphed them out. Each instance of this happening becomes a node, and when 2 nodes have only a single day of difference, they get a connection between them. Here is the entire graph. The color of the edges between each node indicates which day is changing between the two. Dark green is a difference of Thursday, which there are two of. Dark blue is a difference of Friday, which there are five of. Dark purple is a difference of Saturday, which there are also five of. And finally, dark pink is a difference of Sunday, which there are eleven of. As you can see, there's one big section and a couple of other smaller islands. 
I'll get to the islands eventually, but let's cover the big one first. Both of our nodes with 40 plus submissions are connected, but it takes going through 4 different nodes to get there, which means some of the days change multiple times. The minimum path is as follows. Starting with the 42 submissions one, change Sunday from purple to violet, change Saturday from blue to blue purple, change Friday from cyan to blue, change Saturday from blue purple to purple, and change Sunday from violet to pink. I find this connection really interesting because it's perfectly symmetrical. The Sunday switches are the outer edges, the Saturday switches are the next outer edges, and the Friday switch is the central part. It's also rather interesting because in each instance, the color is going slowly from the start to the end. Sunday goes from purple to violet to pink, and Saturday goes from blue to blue purple to purple. Friday also has the option of taking this slower route in which it goes from cyan to sky blue to blue. Some other interesting things about this group is that there is only one single Thursday branch in which for this group of people, Thursday is dark green. This was really surprising to me, as I expected the Thursday as dark green to be an offshoot from the largest group, but there was only a singular submission which had this set of colors, except with Thursday as dark green. There is also this node down here, which is composed of the people who put the majority option for every single question, i.e. the people who put rainbow from Monday to Saturday and then went yellow for Sunday. The fact that this was only 3 people does show that the people who put rainbow responses and the people who put yellow for Sunday were in fact entirely separate subsections of the responders. Let's look at the islands now. These two pairs over here are all rainbows where the rainbow starts on Sunday instead of Monday. Each of them perfectly matches one of the nodes in the main group, except with all of their colors shifted over by one. Over here we have the final rainbow node, in which two people decided to pick every in-between color in the rainbow. Two people also selected dark red for every single day of the week. There were some other submissions that all selected the same color for every single day, but dark red was the only one that had multiple people do it. Finally, there's this grouping of three nodes over here, which is completely different to everything else we've seen before, a seemingly random order of colors. This isn't random though, all of these responses have one thing in common. All of them are from people who either live in Thailand, or grew up surrounded by Thai culture. In Thai culture, each day of the week is based on a god, and each of the gods have a specific color associated with them. This, according to the submissions, is represented on basically every single calendar in the country, so the association for colors of the days of the week is especially strong for Thai people, hence why there ended up being these three notes with the same submissions. In fact, if we isolate all submissions that were specifically from Thailand, we can see that they all submitted basically the same colors as each other, and these averages end up extremely saturated. This would be the perfect segue into seeing how each of the most submitted two countries diverge from the averages, like I've done in previous videos, but they they didn't. Yeah, almost all of the most submitted countries were rainbow. Like, look at these averages, they're all basically the same. The only notable thing, I guess, is that Australia was the strongest on rainbow submissions on average, with the most saturated Monday, and the bluest Friday, and Brazil was the weakest on rainbow submissions, with much more grayed out colors. I'm not going to waste your time trying to point out all of the tiniest, minute differences between the data. As much as I wish there was more to say here, sometimes when you do these sorts of things, you just don't find anything interesting or notable, and that's okay. Finally, let's talk about what everyone's favorite days of the week are. In 7th place is obviously Monday, with only 26 people citing it's their favorite, or 1.65%. In 6th is Tuesday, with 55, or 3.49%. In 5th is surprisingly Sunday, with 86 submissions, or 5.46%. Then, in 4th we go back to Wednesday with 99, or 6.28%. Our 3rd placer is Thursday with 124, or 7.87%. Then, we have an obvious top 2 with Friday and Saturday. In 2nd place is Friday with 440 submissions, or 27.92%, and the clear winner is Saturday with 746 submissions, or 47.34%, which is almost half of them. That concludes this video. I know it's a little bit shorter than the other data videos, and also much less interesting seeing how one-sided the results ended up being, but I still hope you enjoyed it. I still really enjoyed making it, especially the segment where I analyzed each of the rainbow submissions. It's not something I expected I would be doing when I first made the form, but hey, sometimes certain rabbit holes appear when you least expect them, and you just gotta go down them. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video in the series, What Color Is Each Letter of the Alphabet? Coming out... soon... ish. See you later!